uh, welcome back to another video. Today, going ice fishing. Finally, first ice, probably three to four inches. Going down in southern Wisconsin on Lake X, you may say. I'm at a uh, bait shop right now. Pete actually owns the bait shop. I just come here, you know. Take care of you, you may say. Check out, pump the tanks down and everything. I'm just waiting for Pete to get here. And, uh, put all my stuff in his truck and see if we can catch a couple of panfish. And then once you get back later, I'm gonna go on a local lake here and see if we can get a couple nighttime walleyes with a few of my buddies. So, stay tuned. Sleep good? No. What? Did that surprise you a little bit there? <laughs> I didn't expect that. No, well, Pete, Pete made it. Yeah. Good morning, Pete. Good morning. Stop it. You ready? What are you? What are we going for today? We're going for a panfish, bluegill, crappie, holy cow. Panfish, bluegill, crappies. About to leave and get on the road. Well, finally made it. Pete is over there through the window. I don't know if you can see him getting ready. Trying to put his, trying to put his uh, ice armor suit on. Yep, sometimes it's nice to have on an ice fishing suit when you're ice fishing. Yeah, you know, if it's cold out or something. Maybe even boots. What do we, what do we use this today? Just uh, what, jigging a spike? Tungsten flying a spike. Tungsten flying a spike. Tungsten flying a spike, that's the ropes. So we're gonna head out there and uh, I'll pick the camera back up when I get out there. Okay, so that's Brian. That's his girlfriend, Amanda. Pete's over there. We got some other people fishing over here. And uh, catching them, Brian? Brian, are you catching them? Yeah. yeah. Pete's over there hammering away. Roping them in. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Big old bluegill on the dinner bell spoon. Well, as you can see, Brian's off on an adventure. Having a nice time over in the bushes. Pete's still there. Amanda, still there. There's Brian, having a nice old time. Just caught a nice bluegill. Pete's catching quite a few bluegills. Got a crappie. There's fish down there now. So, yeah. Ain't too bad so far. There we go. Another dandy. I'm the old fly. Nice one. Probably eight or nine inch here again. Everybody else is out over here. A bunch of other people out now. But still, uh, still getting them pretty good. How you doing over there, big boy? You doing good? Yeah. Fish in a barrel. Bluegill. Got Pete. Pete, how's it going over there? Can't hear Pete talking. Brand's girlfriend has a monster shiner on. I'm sitting over here just dangling. If I got 15. Bluegills. A couple crappies, so I mean, uh, not bad so far. Not bad. What, do you, what would you say about that? Not bad, Brian? Not bad. Pete's probably got the most fish so far. But yeah, not bad. You're definitely taking a video of me at taking a video of you right now. <laughs> yeah, that. Aren't you? Facebook Live in it. Someone was at Lake Farm? It's at uh, Lake Farm or you'll, Farm. you'll have that on your smaller jobs. Now I have switched over to a tungsten fly. I actually tied these and what is this what is this rod called, Brian? Fish boys I fish boys custom. Fish boys custom. What is it, like noodle noodle stick or something? Fish boys shallow water stalker. Fish boys shallow water stalker. Very nice rod. Love it. 
the tungsten fly. We're still getting it done here. Nice shiner. Just beautiful shiner. Go like this. Go like this. Okay, well, I'd say uh, we didn't do too bad. Probably got, I don't know what, 15, 20? 20, probably. 20 keepers, probably. A couple copies. Brian's got a couple. Hey, Brian! Big Bobino! Walk over here and see you get the picture of the shiny. How many you keep? Let's see. How many you got over there, buddy? Uh, enough for a meal. Yeah? Did uh, you catch most of those? Oh, and, uh, Amanda did. Oh, oh yeah, Amanda. Um, what y'all got in there? Any uh, crappies or anything? Oh, what the heck was that? I got a Mountain Dew. What the? You got a Shiner in there? Yeah. Okay, yeah, me and Pete definitely put that Shiner in there, but that's minor. Well, I'm gonna go back to the bait shop now, and I gotta pump down the tanks real quick. And go pick up my buddy Noah, and then we're going to head out and try for some nighttime walleyes. So then I'll pick the camera back up when uh, we start setting out tip ups. Woo! Okay, welcome back, everybody, to the second part of the video. Well, I guess it's still the first part of the video, but we now have two ups out on a different lake, different people, new guest, Noah. Morning. New bud Noah. Brian is not coming anymore. He has had some stuff come up, and he forgot his tip ups at his house. So it's just me, me and Noah tonight. We're at Pete's friend's house, lives on the lake, name's Ken. Wonderful guy. Thank you, Ken, for letting us come and camp in your yard while we watch our tip ups. Hopefully, we can get a couple of flags and I can get it on video. I'm gonna have the head mount with that other camera on my head and then I'll bring the big camera along a couple times or no, I'll hold it or I'll hold it or whatever. But we need some fish first. So, hopefully we can get some flags and stay tuned. Okay, well, finally got our first flag. It's getting to dark time, I'm about to put the up there. If I could talk, about to put the tip up lights on, but we've got our first flick. Hopefully, it's not just a middle trip, and hopefully, we got a fish. Hopefully, it's Walter, like we're out here for, but we'll find out. Okay, Noah's got him on. Noah's got him on. Let's put the camera on the tripod. Holy smokes. Feel good? Hopefully, it ain't a freaking catfish. We'll find out. what not to do that is not that is not what you uh, that is not what you want to happen right there folks oh, not at all not at all not even, not even close to it all line broke so uh yeah that's uh that's nice line broke and now I'm gonna go retie this tip up okay well just put all the tube lights on broke the line on the first flag of the night. But you know, at least we got a flag. It's just nice to be out, right now. Right, just nice to be out. It's just nice to be out. You know, it's, it's in the great outdoors. You know, it's better than sitting in front of a TV screen. So, 
Hopefully we can catch a couple of marble eyes or catfish. Hopefully not catfish, but hopefully we can catch another. Uh, hopefully we can catch a couple, maybe six, maybe a two-man limit would be nice. So maybe just maybe, hopefully we can catch a couple of walleyes. That that's the end of the story. Okay, stay tuned, everybody. Okay, well, folks, well, I don't know if you can see me or not, but just robbed the minnow. No fish, minnow gone. Well, we'll set her back down and uh, try again and see uh, hopefully we can get a fish this time. Okay, well, we've been out here for, I don't know, too long. Got one bullhead, that's it. Had three flags, most of them, well, all of them just drops. Not much going on, but... You know, it's just nice to be out. It's not about catching the fish or shooting the game. It's just experiencing the great outdoors. It's just nice to be out. So at least the first, first part of the video is good. At least got a bunch of fish. So hopefully you guys like it. And uh, hopefully it'll just be like that next time. I don't know if may it be hunting next time. May it be ice fishing again. It's supposed to be warm this week. So hopefully the ice will stay around. But we'll just have to find out. Thanks everybody for watching and see you next time.